Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm back with another Timu haul and I'm excited to get to show you that today. Um, if you're not familiar with Timu, I've got all the information below in the description. Um, Timu is an online marketplace, so very similar to Amazon um, in that there's tons of sellers selling the exact same thing, so hopefully you get a deal. Um, but it is a lot cheaper than Amazon because they've cut out the middleman and um, you're buying directly from the seller and the only thing to keep in mind is it's cheaper but it takes longer to ship so you gotta plan ahead. Also in the um, description I've got my codes for farmland and fishland. I've had a lot of people ask me how to use those. Um, you just enter that number into the um, the search bar and then it'll ask you to accept it. Um, I just did this for somebody else today so I could see the other side of it. Um, and then it connects you and then um, you will show up in my friend list in my games. And if you want me to show up in yours, I believe you have to share your code with me. So feel free to put your codes in the um, description box or in the comments, I, I mean to say. And if you want to know how you find it, if you go into the game and you click on friends, it'll give you the option to invite. When you click that, it'll give you the option to copy the code. And then that's the it, that has the number that you would share with people. Also in the description, I finally figured out the correct way to share all the Timu um, product codes or whatever. So my videos shouldn't get rejected from um, Timu that I keep submitting to try to get another um, sponsored haul. And if I don't have a product listed down there, it's because it's either sold out or discontinued. And then I also have four other opportunities listed in that description of um, savings that you can get on some different things. So check it out. <laughs> um, it, my stuff is pretty much the same every time, right? I'm kind of boring that way. My, I don't have anything exciting in my video titles because I'm not creative enough to, it's like stressful trying to think of, um, trying to think of something to put. So I literally took the stress away and just put the date. <laughs> and then um, for my descriptions, I have a template and I just swap out the products on each of them. So it, if you feel like it's always same, same, it is. <laughs> it probably will continue to be. Um, I try to make improvements as I with those things as I learn, but um, time saving wise, it saves me time to do it that way. Um, especially with the templates because um, I want to provide the information but I don't want to spend a lot of time doing it so that's my shortcut. Alright well let's get started. I've got two Timu bags worth of stuff to go through this time and there's gonna be a lot of glasses. I'm just gonna warn you ahead of time. Um, but otherwise, and I brought down some makeup remover, so there's some lipsticks in this that I'll try on my arm. I've still got some on there, um, and then we'll use the makeup remover. Um, but otherwise, I think we're ready. All right, so the first item came a little banged up, but we're all used to that, right, when things come in bags. But this is a screen top shelf. So the idea is that I can put it on top of my monitor and I can store some stuff. So this might be where I put one of my cute um, flower pots that I got on Timu. If I can get it out of the box. But it would also be a good place to stick a USB charging port a thing of pens, um, you know, any anything you want on your desk but you don't really want on your desk kind of thing. All right, so this, it looks like it's um, 
it is imprinted so it's not just a flat surface but it's not very deep um, but it probably will help things from sliding a little bit and then on the back you've got your Okay, so it does unscrew. So me just popping that other one was probably not the best idea. So you get this where you want it and then you screw it in. And this would be going on the back, I believe. So like your monitor is coming down here. But let me just make sure. Yeah which, duh, you can't have these on the front side of the monitor. See, I get it eventually. <laughs> but anyway, um, so you can, you know, depending on how far back you want it to go for, or hang over, maybe you get a glare and you want it to hang over a little bit, would determine how much you do with these. So yeah, just a real simple shelf. Um, I have... 19 inch monitors and they're widescreen monitors so this this will leave about this much space on each side of the shelf so I probably would have enough room to put two of these on that size of a monitor um, and I've got two monitors so I really should probably if I like how this works I'll get another one for the other one and it would even work maybe on my surface but I have it sitting up right against the wall so probably not but this cost, this particular order had, had like, or bag had, I think it looks like three different orders in it. So I did write it all down, so it shouldn't take me too long <laughs> to find it. Um, okay, the monitor shelf was 87 cents. So I should have got two. Because even, even if I didn't like it, it was only 87 cents. So I'll probably go stick another one of these in my cart. I just can't decide if I want two. I think two would be hanging off a little bit, but that might be okay. But then that would give me a ton of space. And some of my um, USB lights that I've got over here, I could move to be on top of these. So yeah, so this is a good deal. And it's a really sturdy plastic. So 87 cents. Oh, and I'm wearing pink cat shirt that I got in the last haul. Um, super cute and I'm wearing it with the cat ring. I think those go really well together. Just a little side detour there. All right so next we're doing glasses. All of these glasses that in case I forget to say are blue light glasses. There's no prescription, there's no reading intensity, just blue light. I feel like I should I turn around and do like a reveal that might be fun right <laughs> oh my goodness here's me trying to add a little creativity to my to my stuff <laughs> okay so I really like these because they're really um, they're really out there now these feel a little crooked but I think it's more because I've got this headband on so let's just take that off let's make the hair let's show off all the white hair to go with the white <laughs> glasses um, but yeah so they're not they're you know if you look at my eyebrows they're pretty straight it's just my face is crooked but I love these it's like cartoon like Max Headroom kind of um, vibes I love this, but I, I had a pair of these on an earlier haul that were pink with a dark outline and then like a tortoise shell side. Um, so yeah, so these are all the same series, you know, and I've been saying once I get my contacts, I'd start wearing these on camera, but I'm worried that they are going to be too reflective. So we'll have to see once I, like, I can't see. I can't see what this looks like, but I feel like I can see a glare on that. Okay, so there's these, and this is what the back 
looks like. So it's all solid. Um, and these were $3.87. But yeah, I, I just love, I don't know. I just, I guess I'm to a point in my life where I want to be flashy and a little extra. <laughs> so, all right, so there's that. I don't want to put them on the floor because I don't want to accidentally roll over them. Oh, and it did come with a one of these, which I have some Norwex ones of these, which is what I use. So these end up just being kind of trash. But anyway, all right, next is another pop-up card, 3D card. But this is a birthday one. And I think I've shown the red version of this. Now this one comes kind of a little banged up. So keep that in mind, like unlike the Christmas cards that came in a set of six and so therefore kind of protected themselves, these single ones do get kind of banged up. Now it won't matter if you're sending it in the mail because it could just be banged up in the transit to them. But if you're going to a party and giving it to them, you might want to try to work, work on this a little bit to um, even it out. So anyway, this has got a super shiny, I'm not going to be able to, free. yeah, I can't get, well, maybe a little bit there. It's a little, it's shiny, but again, it is banged up. Um, it does not have any sticky, any licky spot, <laughs> lick it to stick it spot on here. And this one does not have a sticker to go on the outside. So you'll just have to add your own either double-sided tape on the inside or just if you're sending it through the mail, who cares, right? So just tape it on the outside. But it's a super glossy, yeah, you can kind of see it there, super glossy paper. And then this has got, you know, some sparkle to it. And this is cut out kind of like you'd expect from a Cricut machine. And then the back is plain, but then when you open it up, well, this one's a little different than the other one I had. This has got some cute cake designs on it with a red candle, happy birthday. So then there's room up here to write a note, or if, if you think the person will display this, um, that's what the side looks like. If you think the person will display this, which is why I like these 3D ones, then maybe you put your message down here so not everybody sees what you're writing. My kids would use this space to decorate <laughs> if it was for one of my parents. But yeah, so um, like I said, they do, that's one caveat to these is that they do, they can come a little banged up, but it's $1.57. So um, I'm willing to put up with that just because I just, I don't know. I think this is just such a cute idea compared to just a normal card. Um, they do have some cool, like I don't know if you guys ever watched Shark Tank, but there was a company that went on to Shark Tank that did pop-up kind of cards. Um, and I think Kevin um, made a deal with them, but they had like these beautiful trees that like cherry blossom trees that when you open the card it would have that and Timu has some like that too I haven't gotten any of them that have been that intricate so I should get some just to see um, but I'm building up my pop-up card collection so and I I got blue just because I thought this might be more appropriate for a co-worker that's a male or that kind of thing or just a friend that's a male all right so that, did I tell you that was $1.57? Okay, I did tell you that. Next, this is part of the travel series. I saw Angie Wade haul this on her channel, so I thought I'd give it a try. I kind of thought I'd like to have something like this if I was carrying around a big purse, so not just for travel, like for vacations, 
but I thought it might be nice to always be in a position to have water. Now, I'm not saying I would fill this up and put it full in my purse. I'm saying, you know, if I was ever out and about and needed, was thirsty and didn't want to buy something to drink, I could go into the re a restroom and fill it up. But anyway, take the lid off and then it's got this cute little um, place to clip this part and you just take that off and then it's it's silicone and so then it just becomes a nice size water bottle so this could also be useful for people that exercise um, indoors or outdoors um, and just you know want to keep it in your um, sorry the phone was ringing um, just want to keep it in your backpack you know and it wouldn't take up much space but and it came in lots of different colors but I really like the pink surprise surprise <laughs> So yeah, so I really like that. This, however, was kind of expensive. It was $6.08, but it should last forever, really, unless unless I goof somewhere and like break it. But I mean, silicone's pretty indestructible. Um, and then at least at the moment, it seemed to go back together pretty well. And then I would just pull this around to this other side and clip it onto the little lip that's on this side and hope it stays in there I don't know it's probably supposed to be a little bit more over but it's good enough so there's that all right next I'm kind of going back and forth because all the glasses are in one bag so I'm kind of trying to spread those out we'll do another surprise reveal feel like one of these I need to I need to get like a Groucho one or something that's got a mustache on it sometime just to be funny so it comes with another cloth and actually I'm not it's not like I'm gonna throw those away I will give them to my kids that wear glasses and um, they can use them and I'll keep the nice one for me all right getting excited <laughs> oh I love this oh my gosh so it's kind of cat eye but it's got orange around the edge and then white and then blue that is fantastic I love it I'm gonna feel like Prue on Great British Baking or whatever that's called because she always has fantastic glasses. I love it. I love it. <sighs> See how exciting my life is going to be once I get my contacts? All right. And then the inside is kind of all the orange and I don't know. Is this resin? I don't know. Plastic. But uh, so no nose pieces or anything. I love these. These are some of my favorites, I think. And now it makes me think I want to go back. I, I feel like I feel like this one came in different. <sighs> I love seeing my oh, get distracted. Okay, um, I feel like this one came in different color combinations, so I'll have to take a look. But these were three thirty-seven. People aren't going to know what to do with me when I start, you know showing some flair. <laughs> uh, just don't let it go to my head, right? All right. Next. Oh, okay, so next is some earrings. Where's my earring thing? These are some black cat earrings. So obviously the black cat is super popular right now because of Halloween, but this particular style of um, black cat seems to be on everything. I've already gotten a black and, or a white shirt with the black cat on it. I have also gotten a makeup bag that has this black cat on it. 
So just a real simple metal that's painted black with a matte design. I really appreciate that these are made mirrored because it drives me nuts when you get earrings that they make both the same direction. So when you put them on your ears, they're not doing the same thing. So I really like that these are like that. But yeah, these are super pretty and will go perfect with my white blouse. And these were $1.79 and I did get a price adjustment. And it looks like they do have, oh, they've got a bunch. There are six plastic backs um, in here for these. Because it would be, my, I mean, these would fall off if I didn't have a back. They would just like work their way out of my um, earlobes. All right. Next, I got a tongue scraper. They have all different kinds of these, um, metal, plastic, different colors. Um, I was a little afraid to get a metal one. I mean, I realize it should be soft and not like cut your um, tongue, but it is Timu, so I kind of had to I mean, I would be the same if it was Dollar Tree, right? So, let me see if I can get this out of here. This will help freshen your breath naturally. Safe and easy to use. Compact design with a comfort handle. And then it's got instructions on how to use it, but they were nice enough to put the sticker across that. <sighs> Alright, so this one looks a little bit different than some of the other ones I saw because, um, like the metal ones just had like what would be this red part, but this one's got three on it. So that was a little different, but it's, it's very, um, I mean it's ridged, but it's not sharp. There's nothing sharp on that, so I would feel safe using that, and it's a pretty, pretty colors. Um, I don't, I've never really used a tongue scraper before, but everybody acted like this was really good for oral hygiene, so I thought we'd give it a try. And this was 97 cents and I got an adjustment. I keep forgetting, I have to save these for the cards so the cards aren't just, you know, out and about getting damaged. All right, um, next, I believe this is a perfume stick, heartbeat solid balm, small, portable, small and portable, replenish your fragrance easily. And I think, I think the white peach one that I really liked from an earlier haul, I think was from this same company, um, Hanbley. I don't know how they pronounce that. Okay, I know I just cut this. Where, where did I cut it? Um, okay, maybe I didn't. I'm going crazy over here. All right, does it say? Okay, this one is floral and fruity. And I think there were four different options. So again, the box is a little mangled, but I don't think it'll matter for this. Yeah, it's mangled where there's just space. So you gotta make sure you don't accidentally think it's lipstick, which of course, if you open it, you'll see, but don't think it's lip balm either. Um, 
it does say seductive fragrance on it so hopefully that will help um, avoid that mistake so it's clear it's not a very strong scent let me try it on it's like a glue stick I mean the consistency of it it has a strong scent when you put it on though so this one was fruity floral or floral fruity the floral is definitely stronger than the fruity which is okay it's not rose but I don't know what flower it is so I would say if you're hoping to get some fruity scent out of this this is probably not the right one that you want to get you want to look for one that's just like that white peach one that I got was super good but this is still a nice scent so when you're out and about and if you're feeling like you need to add a little scent it's a soft scent so it's not like other people around you are probably going to be able to um, smell it all that well but you will so all right so this was a dollar 79 all right now let's go ahead and do these these are both the same well these are both lipstick line and liners um, combos and most likely very similar in color are you someone that can wear um, lots of different colored lipsticks like do you guys match it or mix it up wear purples and oranges and muted colors like frosty colors I feel like I feel like my lips naturally are kind of on the bluish purple side and they so I need I feel like I need color now obviously purple is a color but I don't think purple would really look right on me all right so this one is beauty lipstick and lip liner and it's color number four I know Twisted Gypsy, she kind of um, renames things when she doesn't like their names. But again, she's creative. I am not so much. So, this has got a really pretty container. I'm going to assume this is the lip liner side, yes. Um, ooh. So that's nice and dark and then and it's a soft it's a very soft pencil but luckily it does twist all the way back in and then this side I'm finding that a lot of these dual ones are the exact same product it's just that they've taken it and put it into a way smaller mold so the lip liner and the lipstick are exactly the same not really sure the purpose of that because um, why wouldn't you then just use this I mean obviously that would take longer but yeah it feels exactly the same and it looks exactly the same but it's a really pretty color and it's very similar to what I've got on right now all right, so there's that one and it was 247 actually I don't need to keep that and then this one is number two which is also going to be 247 but different manufacturer I want to make sure I don't touch my clothes with my arm. All right, so this one is a little different look. This one says it's a 24 hour one. So again, we've got the pencil. Let's 
super similar, guys. <laughs> Did I just buy two that are the same, even though they're from a different different companies? Maybe this. Oh, well, this one's a little bit smaller, just overall. <laughs> but yeah, these do look the same. I mean, don't you think? Let's put this up here. Like, could you even tell the difference? I don't think you can tell the difference. Don't those look exactly the same? Well, hopefully it's what color that I really like, and then I'll just have lots of it. But they all—they both feel the same. I mean, literally, I would say these came from the same um, where, well, not warehouse, but the same um, manufacturer. Let's just see. Well, it's different manufacturers. But somehow, color four in one and color two in the other look like the same thing. <laughs> oh well. All right, so now let's get, do I have any, let me make sure I don't have any other makeup things that I need to try. Oh, I do. Okay, well, let's hold up. I've got an eyeshadow thing coming. So, oh, and another lipstick. Okay, well, let's just wait then. Do another glasses reveal. Still haven't figured out how I really want to store these, except I'm pretty sure I want to keep them stored in um, these. Oh, and this one did come with a cleaner also because all of these I guess had the same came in the same kind of box all right all right so this one's the exact opposite of the white ones so it's black with a white trim, but this one has a crack in it. So I really like these, so I'm gonna return these so I can get another pair. But this one, see that hairline crack over here? And it really is a crack. So this is the first time I've gotten a pair of blue light glasses that have been damaged. So that's pretty good because I've gotten a lot. But yeah, you can't really see it on this side because it doesn't go all the way through. But yeah, I love these. Again, I feel Max Headroom kind of vibes or <laughs> something cartoony. So yeah, love that. And I think these, I think the black ones were a little bit more expensive than the white ones. Maybe black is more popular but those were 435 and the white ones were 387 so it is what it is all right next this is a I'm calling it a phone neck stand But I don't know if you've seen these where um, you can, only in America, when you get too lazy to hold your phone, you can get, um, okay, well, this is super duper um, hard to adjust, but it's fully adjustable. So hang on. Not even sure. Okay, well, this is going to take a lot more work for me to figure out what arrangement I wanted in. But the idea is that this part goes around your neck and then you get these unrolled so it's coming out and holds your, it attaches to this, which then holds your, um, 
your phone. Now you can also make it to where it's facing out. So if you wanted to um, record, you know, walk around your house and record something, you could use this. I'm, I'd be curious to see how steady it is and whether after you recorded something and you watched it back, if it was jumpy or not. I don't know if phones have a stabilizer in them that would help avoid that, but yeah, I'll probably have to get my husband to help me unroll this. So I guess that being said, if you struggle, and I guess it's coming out a little bit better, but if you struggle with any kind of um, motor skills like this, you might have a little bit of trouble, but it's, it's getting a little bit easier. So <laughs> at night when I'm watching YouTube, oh, that sounded like I cracked it. So be a little bit careful with it around here. Um, and I'm not going to, well, maybe I will. Maybe you just have it all the way to the loosest part when you put it on this ball joint. Um, but I will wait to do that too when I'm not on camera. Um, and then this, yeah, this expands. So yeah, so if I, <laughs> I'm laying at night and I'm lazy, I can have this on here and I can take my glasses off because it would be close enough for me to see without glasses and I can just sit and watch. Or again, it can be rolled over to where if I was wanting to record something, like maybe cooking. I don't know. But in any event, it needs help. <laughs> I need... <laughs> um, so yeah, so you can see it, it will extend quite far. Well, far is relative, I guess, depending on how big your head is. <laughs> so that was 448 and I did get an adjustment. Okay. Next. It's like I thought I had something else in that bag, but it had rolled out. So more lipstick. And see the beauty of these these won't fit in my lipstick stand, so therefore they don't count against my lipstick quantity. Gotta think of these things. Okay, so this one, I accidentally bought this twice. So I've already hauled this on an earlier um, video. It came kind of greasy on the outside. This one, this one did too. Um, I know we're going to need one of these once I clean the lipstick off my arm. So let's just get it out now so I can clean off the... But you might remember it because it had this weird bottom to it. Um, that's like showing you the color, but that's not the part you use. So yeah, when I saw it, I was like, dang it. <laughs> that's one thing that's hard... Um, Sometimes it's hard to tell if you've bought stuff before, right? Because so many different sellers have the same thing. So you could have bought it from a different seller. And unless you, although I have bought the same thing in the same order, but I try to watch my quantities now um, on that to make sure I don't accidentally do that. But if you're buying it in two separate orders, I don't know, it's easy to forget. All right, so. It's a, it was a pretty color, so I'm not upset that I've got two. Um, it's got kind of a a weirder angle on the on that, but oh no, look at that! That's almost the same color again, although it's a little bit redder. But it sure looks like it would go with. Oh man, those are super close. I probably don't need to buy more lipstick if I'm just going to keep buying the exact same color over and over again from different <laughs> different sellers and different formats. 
Look at how close those look to each other. Ugh. All right. I guess when I like something, I like it, right? Here's another lipstick. Let's see what color this one is. I bet it's going to be some kind of a red. All right, so this one has got a pretty case. And, um, oh, this, this one was a dollar seventy nine. This one, what color number is this? Oh, this is Carmine. So this is a dollar ninety three. This one actually had a name, although it has a number too, but it actually had a name, Carmine. All right, so let's take this off. And then this one's got a really squared off um squared off kind of tip <laughs> oh you guys oh well this one's a little bit redder okay i don't feel so bad about that a little bit more red so that's good Oh, and that, it doesn't go down any farther than that, so you have to be careful when you're putting your lid back on. And that was $1.93, but yeah, that is definitely different. But those other ones, they sure look the same. How many times can I say that? <laughs> all right, let's do the, let's do the eyeshadow next so that we can get all this makeup off my arm. This one, there were a couple different versions of this. I got the school season one, which they called Crocodile. I'm hoping that means there's a good, um, a good, like olive, olive-y kind of color. All right, so it looks like this. So it's got the Crocodile. And the crocodile in the back. So it's got a nice mirror and then a dust cover and it did come with a brush so that's nice. Um, but then you can see it does have an olive so I'm glad about that since my other ones um, went bad, but I'm going to say this one feels like it's already been touched by someone's finger. So that makes me a little nervous, although it was completely sealed. So there could be a different reason why it looks like that. And none of the other ones have their kind of pressed stamp altered. But anyway, Let's take, let's do some, okay, so these all actually also have names. So I'm gonna do the plum and the piglet and the tail. Okay, just to have three. Ooh, that's got a lot of pigment. So that's the plum. Looks kind of black-ish. And then piglet, which is kind of the green kind of a greenish hue to it. So yeah, it kind of comes out a little kind of golden on the green side. And then let's do, and well, I said I would do tail. So it's kind of a peachy. So they all seem to have pretty good pigmentation, but let's do innocent. It's the white shimmer. Looks like I didn't need as much of that as I took. So that, you can sort of see a little bit of shimmer, but all right. So you can definitely see it over here. So yeah, so I think that'll be a good, um, I think this one will end up being a good one when I'm doing my camouflage stuff. Um, it's got a lot of colors that I feel like really go with that. And it'll fit in my, um, palette stand. 
All right. So let me make sure that was the last. Yeah, that was the last makeup thing. So let's try it. Well, I used this on another. The, I mean, I showed this on the haul that I got it on, but let's really see it work. So this was the one that I said that I liked the most out of the three that I've gotten. Um, but this one does, I will say, um, I can't really tip it too much, but this one must have a, whatever the temperature is that something is at a solid is lower for this one because this one's melting um, in comparison to the other ones I have. So if I said that backwards, just, you know, forgive me. All right, so this one is the one that had a rose scent and it had um, the magnetic spoon, which I really liked. Um, so just, it was on the last, the last haul, one of the last couple of hauls. So just go check it out there in the description box if you think it's something that you'll want. Okay, so I'm just gonna, just gonna, lather this on here starting to melt I'll put some on this side too so it doesn't look like okay so now is where it's gonna get messy I'm trying to not get my hand although I should shouldn't I because I've got some on my fingers although what am I gonna do with this that's one thing I gotta say is I'm not a fan of applicator spores because then they get messy and you gotta clean them up. Whereas if you just dig in and use your fingers, it will um, it'll be okay. All right, so make a big mess. So when I tried this on the other haul, I didn't really have anything dark on per se, like um, this lipstick. So you can see it's kind of, some of the lipstick's still there. <laughs> so, okay, so now I feel like I'm, I'm making a huge mess. All right. So let's just, Okay, I'm gonna get another one of the wet wipes. Man, my back is starting to hurt for some reason. I think it's because I I can't like put my legs under this um, table, so I, I'm kind of like sitting forward, and my wheels get caught in the ruts that I created from facing that way. All right, so so I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that? worked you can kind of still see this one at the top but overall my arm smells really nice now <laughs> so yeah I think I'm pretty satisfied with that makeup remover all right get it off my fingers that over there. Oh, let's use it to clean off the spoon. But you know what I mean? I mean, maybe it's more hygienic to use this to get to get the stuff out, but I'd be just fine sticking my fingers in there. All right. So again, if you like this, was either in the last haul or the one before it. So just check out the um, description. Okay. This, but because this one melts at a higher temperature, that's not, that doesn't sound right. Melts at a lower temperature. I'm, science is not my thing. I'm always afraid it's going to like leak out on the side is really what I was trying to get to. Okay. So I think I gave you the prices of, oh, the price of the palette, the eyeshadow palette was $4.54. All right. Next, we've got some brushes. I've gotten these on here before, but I, this is, I got them in white.
I really like the mushroom brushes ever since I got my air cushion cream and it came with a mushroom brush. So now I have a version of this that's a little bit bigger that's on, on a stick or whatever that's got a brush at the other end that I use for my brown hair browning powder. And of course I've got the mushroom one to go with the air cushion. But it would also be really good, I feel like, for concealer. Even though that's what this one's for. So, mushroom brush is a sponge. And then the concealer brush is a brush. And then, um, they didn't come together. I had to buy them separately. So the brush was 97 cents and the mushroom sponge was 47 cents. And again, I've gotten these before in pink where the handle was pink. So, all right. I think the last thing, oh no, there's two more things. Well, I'll save the last pair of glasses for last. All right, so I got a set, I've got some earring backs. So on a haul long time ago, I got the plast a bag of plastic earring backs. There was like 100 or 200, something ridiculous in that. But I, I saw that they have these metal ones. And I thought this would work better for me. So <laughs> it says they're granny gray. That's funny, but they're silver. And there are, I think, 50 in here. I didn't write down the number, but I'm pretty sure it's 50. Um, so I will be putting, using these for all of my um, non-post earrings, because the post earrings always come with, well, yeah, I think they always come with metal backs. Um, so anyway, I'll be using these with all of the non-post earrings and it was 76 cents for these all right last but certainly not least is another pair of glasses oh two pairs of glasses in this box all right we'll I'll have two reveals then but no cleaning cloths. Let me throw some of this trash away real quick. All right. Some of these I'm sure you're thinking, or you would think, some of you probably think I'm pretty juvenile. One of the, these are kind of like, um, one of these is definitely gonna have Barbie vibes I'll save that one for last and my guess is is these that I'm trying on now they won't be anything really spectacular or anything but I think I got them because they came together and I really wanted the Barbie ones all right so hang on All right, so these definitely feel a little bit more crooked, but like just a little bit. So I might be able to play with that some, but I mean, really, if I look at my eyebrows, it probably is fine. But for some reason, these just feel a little crooked compared to the others. But really, when I look at where it's at, it, it matches my face. So I can't complain too much. This is the face God gave me, so it's okay that it's crooked. But anyway, let me get really close. It's indented, so it's concave on the frames, but solid black. Just a little screws there for a little design. And then, like most of the other ones, they don't have nose pieces. They've just got the, um, got it part of the plastic. But yeah, okay, so there's those, and these other ones are exactly like it, just Barbie style. <laughs> I 
Okay, so these don't feel quite as crooked, but um, if I look at my eyebrows, I can see more of my eyebrow up there. But they're again, they're concave, but aren't they fabulous bright pink? <laughs> so anyway, and these kind of, um, they're just blue light glasses too, but I've, I noticed on the other ones too that these kind of have a yellowish tint to them. I don't think the other ones have as much as these. So, so just something to think about, but yeah, <laughs> I need to get one of those Barbie shirts that Timu has and then I can, and they probably have a hat. There's probably a ton of Barbie stuff since that's super popular right now. But yeah, so that's great. So that's what we're ending the haul on is on our Barbie glasses. I've decided that I need to, when I do my thumbnail pictures, I need to, if I had glasses in the haul, I need to be wearing them for the picture. But there is kind of a glare, but that's okay. So these, this set was $4.49. So really only, you know, like two and a quarter for each. So, love it. <laughs> so that, let me make sure that is really it. That I didn't miss something because the one thing had rolled out of the bag. But nope, that was everything. Um, so once again, the, the, the links to the products will be down below unless they're sold out or discontinued. Um, I want to thank you so much for um, joining me for this um, episode of Hauler Time. And um, I'm excited to see what I get to bring you next. And um, if you enjoyed what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. If you like the content that I produce on this channel, please, please, please subscribe. All of that stuff, watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff really helps um, when YouTube is looking at the at the statistics and everything. All that stuff really helps me. Um, so thank you. And um, by helping me, it will help fund future um, content. <laughs> so thank you. Um, and I hope wherever you are, whenever you are, um, that you're having a good day and that it continues to go well for you. But otherwise, thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye.